Welcome to Hack and Build. In this video, we're going to be comparing the Oneida Dust Deputy against the world's most simple DIY dust collector. We'll put both units through their paces and see which one comes out ahead. Essentially, how we're going to do the testing is I'm going to weigh out some sawdust, we're going to dump it on the ground and vacuum it up. After that's been done, we'll weigh the container and see how much sawdust was collected. Before we do that, though, let's just look at how these two are set up. This uh, dust deputy here, it uh, retails for $49.99, and you need 4 or $5 worth of hardware here to go ahead and get it assembled. Both of these I'm using wooden discs for, and there's an inside disc which goes inside the bucket, and then a top disc which just rests on top. The reason I'm doing that is because after a while the plastic lids will crack, and I was just sick of replacing them. I've had this four or five years now, and I'm very happy with the performance. It'll pretty much get almost all the sawdust into the bucket, and then once the bucket fills up, it uh, will start to then go into the vacuum cleaner. This unit here, I actually haven't tried it out yet, so this is going to be pretty interesting to see how well this works. Let's take a closer look at this. There's just uh, a 90 degree elbow here with a short length of PVC pipe. There's a hole drilled through here, and these are just two, uh, two couplers, and there's another coupler here on the back. So, very simple. All right, well, let's put these two through their paces and see how they do. To start the test, I measured out 200 grams of sawdust and placed them into two identical containers. The sawdust is a mixture of sawdust from my table saw and planer shavings. I have a second camera set up to capture the reading on the scale. Unfortunately, it wasn't pointed directly at the LCD in the first clip, so some of the numbers are a bit hard to read. I'll be using the same scale and container setup for the rest of the tests. Next, I weigh the empty dust deputy and zeroed out the scale. I powered on and off the vacuum a couple times because here I was trying to ensure that the sawdust didn't flow back into the hose. Okay, let's go ahead and weigh it. Okay, well, looks like the dust deputy collected 186 grams of sawdust. On to the DIY version. First, we'll check that we have 200 grams of sawdust. Now we'll zero out the weight of the DIY dust collector. And we'll go ahead and vacuum up the sawdust. All right. Looks like 198. This time we're going to test with half a full bucket. Let's verify first that we have 200 grams, and we do. Here's how much sawdust I have in the bucket. It's about half full. Let's get it weighed and zero it out. Okay, let's vacuum it up. And let's see how we did. Okay, 186 grams again. Now let's look at the DIY version. We'll check our sawdust. 196, that's fine. We'll zero out our bucket. Vacuum it up again. Now let's check it out. Only 26 grams. Let's give it another try. 28, or is that 30? We'll take the average and call it 28. We'll test the DIY version one more time with less sawdust. Looks good. Here's how much sawdust is in the bucket. I'd say about a quarter full. Now let's go ahead and weigh it. Zero it out. Here's the last bit of vacuuming. Now let's see how we did here. Okay, let's call that 146. 
Let's take a look at everything together. With an empty bucket, the dust deputy collected 186 out of 200 grams of sawdust, and the DIY version collected 198 grams. I suspect that the dust trapped in the hose around the entrance port of the dust deputy would have made up for the difference. I did repeat the test a couple other times, and I did measure the full 200 grams with the dust deputy. I'd also like to point out that the scale I'm using is only accurate to two tenths of an ounce, or 5.6 grams. Next we evaluated the performance of the bucket when it was about half full. The dust deputy performed about the same, but the DIY version only collected 28 out of the 200 grams of sawdust. Finally, we tested the DIY version about 25% full and collected 146 grams of sawdust. Well, that was really interesting. The two units pretty much held their own until this one started to get filled up with sawdust. As you can see, the two-stage approach that Alnida uses for the dust deputy really does increase the performance um, because even with a full bucket, this unit did not lose any performance, whereas you can see a marked decrease in performance the more sawdust is added to the bucket. So in a future video, what I might do is use one of those two and a half gallon buckets to create a two-stage uh, dust collector and see if I can get better performance out of that without making the design a whole lot more complicated. I think what I'll be able to do is use the same approach as I did up here by just creating a small insert lid for the two and a half gallon bucket and then drilling two holes and using the same, the same fittings. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, stay tuned for more hacks and builds. See you next time. Cheers.